Dearest Patricia. No, dear Patricia. Patricia, it has been eight minutes since you left our apartment and they have been the best eight minutes of our relationship, you hoser. I just wanted you to know all your pants did make your butt look big. That's right, I lied. I lied every time about your butt. I'll probably set fire to your fern and your books and all of your revolting family albums. And I'll imagine your zit-prone face as they burn. I'm gonna melt down all your squash trophies, blend them up, and make a nice protein shake out of them. <laughs> all right. Mm. Have fun like deep victory. in the basement of your parents' house with 12 cats. Molly, Charlie, Tigger, Poppy, Oscar, Brett, Millie, Daisy, Max, Jasper, Lily, and Jermaine. You psycho witch. Have a terrific life, Patricia. Love, Arthur. Morning. All mail goes in the bin to my left, sir. Beautiful day to be outdoors, right? <laughs> oh, come on. Are you sad about your squash tournament? Well, Patricia, second place is fantastic. Not as fantastic as first. Look at me, I'm nothing but a big old two. Now, hold on one second, Patricia. You'll always be first place in my heart. You sure know how to make a gal smile, Arthur. Look, I was gonna save this for Canada Day, but I... I think it'll really cheer you up. Arthur! Oh, this is better than any first place trophy. Anything for you, Patricia. Uh, excuse me, uh, I was just here a moment ago. And... All mail goes in the side, in the bin there. Yeah, no, left, no, no, it's, it's, not, it's not that. Um, I, uh, I mailed a letter and I, okay. I probably shouldn't have mailed it. Yeah. Well, the mailman just left. Okay, you bumped into him twice, so maybe you should just pay it. Ooh. Ooh, gross. Ugh, where the... Oh, pardon me. I, uh, I believe you have a letter of mine and I was wondering if I could get it back. Sorry, son, no can do. Against Canadian Mailman Union Association of Canada policy. I don't think you understand. That, that letter, it said some, uh, stuff. I think you don't understand, son. It is illegal for mailmen to hand over a letter that's been addressed unless it's to the proper addressee. Uh, okay, well, maybe, uh, maybe you don't hand it over. Huh? You know, maybe uh, I take it and you just turn the other way. No harm, no foul, right? You're wasting your time, son. Hey, look, a dog. 
No, there isn't. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Son! Day for a park sit, huh? <laughs> you come here often? You're not much of a talker, are okay, you? Okay, listen, lady. I don't have time. Oh! He speaks! Oh. Ah, you know, you should probably calm down or someone's gonna think that. You're being chased. Well, uh, I'm not being chased. Why? Why do you think I'm being chased? And hey, look! Like, it's got a cat. Just hey, please. Hey, 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 hey! You can stop this. Let me take a look at it. No. Because you know what? I have a pet cat. That. So I probably smell like a cat. That doesn't make sense at all. Son. I had a cat five years. <gasps> we ran away on the old brother. experienced mailman of the Canadian Mailman Union Association of Canada. Earlier today was mugged by a not so unknown man, Arthur. Mr. Mailman, is there anything that you would like to say to this Arthur who lives at this address? I don't know much about you, Arthur, other than where you live, your hobbies your social insurance number. But I have a duty to deliver the mail, and I'll make sure that I get all of my mail back, especially ones in red envelopes. Um, back to you, Stacy. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I get a moment of your time for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? <laughs> Looking for this? Whoa! I give it back! All mail must be delivered, Arthur. Give it back!
It has been eight minutes since you left our apartment, and they have been the best eight minutes of our relationship, you hoser! Mailman. One, two, three.